now we have a bit of a sense of the theory and the special things that you can do with quantum computing. So can you provide an example of a practical, maybe optimization problem? That seems like the kind of thing that you guys do at Terra Quantum a bit. So like some kind of, some kind of practical problem that is intractable for classical computers, but with some quantum computing as well, in a, it sounds like typically a hybrid system, how, yeah, you know, how we can have a real world application that provides some value. Yeah, so, so there are so many we um, do. So these three branches that we look into, uh, everyone who does quantum computing does is machine learning, and as you said, optimization, and then simulation. Uh, one uh, problem in optimization that uh, sounds boring at first is scheduling. Um, but that is uh, impossible to tackle with uh, no matter how powerful a classical computer you have. So the challenge um, is manifold. Scheduling appears in production. Scheduling appears in uh, hospitals when you have to do plans for uh, the nurses and the doctors. Scheduling appears in computers in electric vehicles when you want to optimize the subroutines uh, for uh, power consumption. Uh, one of the things uh, that we did with an automotive company, with Volkswagen in that case, was a scheduling uh, problem for production. So imagine you have vehicles coming out of the production line, then all of these vehicles must uh, undergo a couple of tests. Uh, ideally, I can test every vehicle for everything. But the reality is you don't have enough time, you don't have enough people, and not all of these people doing vehicle tests have the same skills. Especially so someone, if it's emissions testing. I mean, then you've really got to skip a few cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so some of these tests, of course, you can plan um, because you get uh, reports, field errors. Um, the workshops will report, well, I have these uh, couple customers complaining about water damage. So anytime it rains, get wet inside the vehicle. So then you do water tests. But then there are 250 something test classes and each of these test classes has subtests. So the question now is, given the staff, the personnel in production with the skills available today, how can I maximize the number of tests for all of these vehicles that come out? And that is a very complex scheduling problem, uh, but the same algorithm can be applied, as I said before, for scheduling subroutines in, um, in electric vehicles. So you want to minimize power consumption. So then maybe you have two subroutines that use the same data. So instead of loading it in memory, deleting it and loading it again, maybe I can execute these subroutines in sequence and access the data in sequence uh, before I delete it. So these are things uh, where this can be applied, um, which don't sound uh, very exciting at the beginning. And you would wonder, is this really something where I would need quantum computing? But you do, uh, because in the end, with classical non-quantum algorithms, the only thing you can do is heuristics and make approximations. So you can never be sure, is this really uh, a, the best solution I can find? I must admit, also with a quantum computer, you cannot be sure. But what you can do then is uh, you just compare uh, the classical and the quantum algorithm. And if the quantum algorithm gives me a better solution, then that's the one that I take. Other problems are in logistics. We did many logistics optimization problems. So imagine you have a fleet of vehicles that have to transport goods through a network of hubs. Um, so for example, food, which can decay, you have to have that vehicle number one at a certain hub between 1 and 3 p.m. Otherwise, um, there is a problem with the food, for example. Um, so how do you uh, optimize the number of vehicles that I have in my transportation fleet, minimize the number of vehicles that I need to transport all the goods efficiently through the network. Um, or in other ways, how do I reduce the empty miles? Uh, the empty miles meaning I have trucks that just go from A to B but don't have any, any load. So how do I avoid that? So this is also one of the things, one of the problems that we have solved with a customer. And then it ranges from... Uh, optimization of satellite constellations, which we did, uh, financial optimization. So you want to predict market behavior, want to do collateral optimization. Uh, you want to do exotic options pricing. You uh, want to do machine learning. You want uh, to learn better, uh, do better image classification. So all of these things benefit from hybrid quantum computing. 